We start by going to storage to get all of our supplies ready, fill up our cars, and then get to the venue. As you can see, we have to work with the dollies they give us, and this uh, wasn't my best look. But we made it to the stunning Ritz-Carlton. We rearranged our room, got all of our supplies out and ready to go. Obviously, the first box we went for was the one labeled Met Gala look. We all gasped, said our ooh-la-las, and then we got back to work. Simkai has their own line of shoes, so we laid those out by size. We took a little break to examine the fabrics because... What? These fabrics are absolutely insane. I cannot imagine hand beating in how hard this was to make. We truly just couldn't stop staring at the dresses. Then more racks arrived, so we had to go downstairs and get those. Coffee break, duh. We were fueled on caffeine this week. Jonathan wore this to the Met Gala, and I had to add a little hook and eye in there. Once everything was set up and ready to go, we had models come do fittings so we could decide what model was gonna wear which look. Some of the looks were previously made for celebrities, so we had to cast the models to fit exact measurements. For this dress, it was Mindy Kaling, which love, stunning, obsessed, and so cool for the models. Like, when can anyone else say, yeah, I wore this dress that was at the Met Gala? Every model that came in for a fitting, they walk back and forth just to make sure there's nothing snagging on the shoes. Everything feels good. It's not going to fall down on the runway. Okay, seriously, like, why do I hunch my back like that when I sew? This is so embarrassing. But hey, I'm excited to touch something that was on the red carpet. This one is my all-time favorite, also a Met Gala look. Sierra! She opened the show, and she killed it. Some of the dresses were really long, so Jan was showing them how they could do a little curve at the end of the runway instead of stepping backwards so they don't trip themselves. This is Abby executing her vision so perfectly. Look at that you, stunning. Everyone was dying for this jumpsuit, like they screamed when she went on the runway. And then Veda, we had to hire for her height, perfect fit, Kiana Queen. All the looks got steamed after that. This is Mez and Emily putting in the work. Once all the looks were finalized, we printed them out and put them on a big poster board. We got a little break after that and we wanted to go freshen up in the bathroom. I tried to take a video and then I realized my phone was on slow-mo. I don't know why I looked scared, but I couldn't figure out like what was going on. What, I, yeah. Mez, who do you think's gonna win the fight tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Mez is tired of talking about the fight. <laughs> I don't care about the fight. <laughs> I might be the only person that doesn't care about the fight. <laughs> True. <laughs> Took a little snack break because we were starving. This is our MC James, and every year he comes with the looks. He always looks so good. Rehearsal, and then we went out and checked out the tables. Everything was so beautiful, like the lights, so dramatic. I love it. Hi, Tommy Hilfiger. Everything was set up and ready to go. Some of the student scholarship winners brought their garments, and they walked out on stage during dinner. My friend Danya Han beaded this. It took her thousands of hours. She didn't see another human for six months, but look how beautiful. And these were the other student scholarship winners. Everything was so good. I was loving getting to see all of this. Stylist Candy showing off her Palmer Harding shirt. Final touches with the About Face Pro team. They kill it every year. My favorite thing about models is that they're so funny and then all of a sudden, boom, model face. And no matter what show it is, I always get Carly doing something funny. <laughs> Love you. Everyone's favorite dress. I love the movement in this. There was only two guys in the show and it was Aiden's first show. He did so good. I think every model was just in the perfect dress for them and just uh, uh, like what? Bill doing some final touches. Then Jonathan came backstage and was showing models a few little details like put your hand in your pocket. It's always fun to have the energy of the designer backstage. And here we go, the show has started! My favorite look changes every time I watch these videos. Like I truly love every single dress. You can tell that the models loved it too because they were not there to play. I loved how the finale was presented with all the models behind him and then he went out on stage, perfect photo op, everyone went crazy, standing ovation from the crowd. The energy was great, everyone was so happy with the show. And one more time for the Hailey Bieber dress. We all got to go to the after party and they served fries with their logo on it and what is more glamorous than Jan Strimple drinking wine and eating truffle fries? <laughs> <laughs> That's fashion. The DJ and the glam bot were actually wrapping up when we all finally made it to the after party, but Mez and Annie begged them to plug it back in and play Dancing Queen, so we all got to dance around Jan, celebrate her last year producing the show. It was a perfect way to celebrate with the whole crew. The doors opened, the wind started blowing, I had my Marilyn Monroe moment. Really, I was just saving wine glasses. I was stressed. 
This is what Heather looks like moments after she gets complimented on her dress. Melissa getting to celebrate putting on an amazing event. One final group hug before we had to start packing up our cars. The balloons were done. They partied hard. They were ready to go home. Packed up my car. And then the next day, I had my husband help me, thankfully, go to storage, put everything back, organize it, and lock up. Until next year!